I'm the Tate. <laughs> Pause that. What, what hey. we just said there? Hey, I'm the Tate. <laughs> I thought you hated feminists. You, you better take that back, Andrew Tate. <laughs> I'm losing respect right now. <laughs> They're the one who's spending the money. Spending the money, yeah. Because as soon as he saw, he saw Georgina. Yeah, that's it. He was George ready. Rock. He was ready. Oh, yeah. I'm Where's my millions? Oh. I'll throw it out this. Georgina, <laughs> show her that. Turn around. Welcome back, it's the Birdie Moguls, back again for part two of Tate versus XQC. Part yeah. one is absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah, can't <laughs> wait it. for the part two. Yeah. Can't wait. I know. So uh, we're back again and this time he's getting a massage. I think his internet connection is uh, sorted. So uh, let's get straight into it. To some dangerous men and I needed money fast. And I was sitting in my uh, room trying to work out a way to make money because at the time I was only fighting. And I didn't have a fight coming up for a while. And I was, I was researching how money works. Like I was trying to understand how money works, where it comes from. This is where I learned about the Federal Reserve and fractional reserve banking and all these things. So interesting point he made earlier about, you know, the matrix and its currency and how it's all a lie. I understand all that very well. But that really made me mad because now I understand money's bullshit and I still don't have any. And I was really upset. And um, I was sitting there with a piece of paper trying to write down my assets and my liabilities and, like, you know, trying to write down all the geek shit they tell you. And for assets, I wrote down that obviously, you know, I'm, I'm strong, but I'm already fighting. I'm brave, but I'm already fighting. I had all these girlfriends, but, but I thought, well, I, don't, I can't afford to open a strip club. I'm not going to put them out on the track. I'm not that kind of guy. They're my girls. <laughs> and then I discovered by accident when I was clicking around on these, these uh, websites, I saw those things in the corner, you know, talk to live girls now. And I thought, well, my girls could do that. And long story short, long story short, I ended up with uh, 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 75 women and four premises and making $1.3, $1.4 $1 million a month. And... That's how it all started. That was about 10 years ago. Wow. Ooh. Tempting. Wow. Tempting. Oh, that's story. Yeah, that's... We need to look into that business model, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but one thing he did say was about uh, the money, right? Mm. Fractional reserve banking. Take a note of that and do research. You'll be shocked how money works. As when you learn how money works and what money actually is, mm -hmm. you, uh, and it'll change your mind entirely. Oh yeah, the way these top G's, these people who are billionaire, millionaires, mm. who are successful, ex know exactly how the bank system works. Oh yeah, and how money works and what is money. That's how they are successful, and that's yeah. how they, so they can play get the around. game. They yeah, play yeah. the game. They know yeah. how it, it works. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a very there's a lot there's an in depth version of it, but that's the story. And and people listen to that, and they seem to think that for some reason I was exploitative, but it's absolutely the opposite. It's mm. I'm a I'm a feminist, bro. I empower women to what? make as much money as they want to make, and I help them do it. I'm I'm a I'm I'm here and <laughs> 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 pause that. What, what hey. just said? Uh, hey, Andrew <laughs> Tate. <laughs> so you hate feminists? You, you better take that back, Andrew <laughs> Tate. I'm losing respect right now. <laughs> but uh, I know he's joking. Uh, I know he's, I know he's messing with them. He just he's, uh, trying to make a he's, point. he's trying to put a smile on X. Uh, uh, what's his name? Yeah, he's uh, smiling. Uh, oh, I'm got a feminist. He's a feminist. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's carry on. Let's see what he's gonna say. As long as it's for you, but right? Right? Makes him happy. Okay. Made him happy. Hold on. So, this, so, so look, X, X. This is what I, I wanted to actually ask the question because I know it was a question that you had. Hold on. Um, Andrew, the uh, one of the one of the takes that you made on my stream about um, that you should take a hundred percent of you know your girls only fans. I know X, you 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 felt the type of way about that, um, Andrew. You, that's yeah. still. I mean, they, they, I mean, they said that you were What's joking a hundred percent, and you weren't so joking. Only so, I, I... so basically, when he came onto uh, Aiden's. Um... Um, podcast mm. and uh, he came onto another person's podcast I can't remember uh, oh Shian and when she asked her, you take 100% off uh, your oh, girls oh right money. that what they're yeah, talking when, about if you uh, if you allowed your girls right. to do, or you allowed your woman right. to do so, uh, only fans uh, he'll take uh, he'll 20% take the money. and right. 80% okay. or he'll take all of it and then give her a share or give her a cut of what he, she deserves and then the right. rest of mine because they're his product <laughs> right okay let's see what he's got to say I assume that you were joking, but I still hold this take it. You want? Well, it depends, right? So if, if it's a girl who were to come to me and say, Andrew, I would like you to help me make money on OnlyFans. And they would come to me for my marketing expertise. And of course, it would be a fair deviation. I make 20%, 30%, whatever. That's different. 
But if it's my girlfriend, my long term term partner, and we're going to be together forever, and she decides to go down that particular career path, I think I should have a much larger stake because she is my girl, and she is now giving away some of the most private and intimate parts of her body to the internet. Those parts of her body belong to me effectively because she's my woman. That's the whole point of being with somebody. So to be to pretend you can do that and make a bunch of money and give me nothing is I find that disrespectful. I would I would sooner tell her look. At least he's not stopping the little isn't it? So mm. I call so it. You, you weren't you weren't actually joking. It was an actual true statement, right? Yeah, if, if I had a ser- if I had a serious long term girlfriend and me and her are together and we're going to be together forever and she says I'm desperate to do OnlyFans and say you don't need to we're rich she goes no. feminism or feminist is bullshit it doesn't exist it's just that it exists when it needs to exist but like you said didn't it you can become a mm. uh, you know a feminist whenever you like mm. and then you you can hate women yeah yeah know? pick so and choose yeah. you can pick and choose so. So it's bullshit, isn't it? Mm. It's just a made-up word that uh, this and these so-called elite want to, you know, pump in our heads. No, I yeah. really, really want to. I say, okay, the money's mine then. I yeah, that, we, that. We, we can we can disintegrate. We can dismantle these statements into one at a, like small rocks. We can approach them one at a time, right? Because there's sure. a lot of, that I, I, respectfully. Okay, I think there's a lot of parts of that that are garbage, right? But we, I don't want to say something at the whole rock. And we have to do small rock pebble at a time, you know, right? So. Oh. Uh, 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 also, this motherfucker can laugh over here. You see, you see it next to me? Uh, <laughs> He's laughing. He's like, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> so you were joking 100%. Like, he's only a star right now. He's, he's, maybe he's oh. going to be. Right? But he said you were wrong 100% about this and so wrong that you were joking. I don't know why he's holding his tongue right now. What did I do? What did I do? Leave me alone. It's a scenario, right? You have to understand that the scenario in which I would take 100% is a very, very particular one. In general, when I had my my business, and I know you're saying that they only made money for me. They made money for themselves. I turned girls. I, I would actually sit here and say, as the biggest misogynist on this panel, I've turned more girls into multimillionaires than any of you. Oh. I've made girls multi-millionaires. This is oh, 10 years ago at the beginning of all this shit. Now, Before mate. OnlyFans, when webcamming was new, I took girls from Point. Starbucks and made them millions and millions and millions of dollars and paid them fairly, never missed a single paycheck. Okay. I'm as, I'm as feminist as you can get. Now, yeah, I got... <laughs> like, I, like I said, I don't... I don't. Okay, no disrespect once again. Okay, I just feel like this is like um, the type of argument that, that goes like, I have three friends that are black when making uh, certain comments or whatever. So I don't... Unfortunately, don't, don't, you, don't you mad at me. Don't you mad at me. I don't this, get mad at you. Mad at you. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, respectfully, I think that is that is genuinely the, the, the same vibe energy comment, right? Oh, I can't be against women because I helped four or five of them. Oh, no, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not against women because I made a couple of them millionaire or whatever the fuck, right? Saying, it's not about being against women. I'm saying that my, the whole was a net positive for both me and the females. So you misunderstood my point. You think I'm making a different point, and that's why you've come to that conclusion. The point I'm making is that everybody who worked for me won. The only person who lost was the guy sending his money away online. That's mm. fine. But for everyone who was associated with me, both me, it wasn't exploitative because you made it sound like I only did it for me. No, the women who worked for me also made millions of dollars. Everybody who was associated yeah. with me won. Everyone won. All of them. Yeah, yeah. For it's the people like XQC who go to these women. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> They're the one who's spending the money, spending the money. Yeah. Because as soon as he saw, he saw Georgina, yeah, that's it. He was ready. Dropped. He was ready. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Man, billions. I'll throw out this. Georgina, Woman. show her that. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Your smell. Freaking hell. Business activities or whatever. Yeah, that that's fine. I don't think I, I wasn't talking about that at all. Isn't the masseuse um, getting tired? Oh, oh, I I know, man. Okay, but give her it, give her a pay rise, man. Give her a pay rise. Um, uh, tell her to move to a different spot. Wrong. She's been massaging just the same go, spot for a while. She's been giving her happy ending. So you've had I have more of a stake. So you think that in a relationship, <laughs> you have a certain you have a certain stake on your uh, partner's income based on what that income comes from. Well, it depend, yeah, depending on how they make it, absolutely. I think that in a relationship with a woman, if the man is with that woman, the main reason he knows he's with her is the fact that she is sexually exclusive to him. If you're with a woman and she's fucking everyone, are you even with her? No. Mm-hmm. How do you know she's even yours? Because she only sleeps with you, right? Well, if all of her intimate parts are now for everybody and they're purchasable, then I think you have a stake in said parts because those parts belong to you. She gives them to you when she decides so- to be a woman. So, so there's a, there's a, a price that you're ta- you're you're, you're taxing your loss of privacy. <laughs> to, that's a that's a way you could put it. I mean, personally, uh, if my woman were to come to me and say she wanted to do OnlyFans, I just say no because I'm not. Okay, wouldn't. okay, then. But example. Okay. Yeah, I mean, respectfully, let, let's have an, uh, let, let's try to upscale that that discussion and see what what kind of stake would you need for your girl to suck another guy's dick. I would never tolerate that on any level. Yeah, no. So that's too far. But well, pic- there, I mean, there's a price for the pictures and the loss of intimacy. Correct. There's that. 
it's I, for me it's a black and white thing you, 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 Chad, you for a million scalable. dollars once you would lose a certain amount you can lose more of it would you let your right? girl I, suck a dick i understand what you're saying yes or no to me it's yeah. not black because pixelated pictures on the internet are very different than sucking an actual dick <laughs> So I would never let my girls be prostitutes. None of the girls who ever watched me would? ever prostituted. I've never associated with a prostitute. I'm not associated <laughs> so with porn stars. None of that kind of shit. But I had very wholesome girls with pictures of their titties on the internet 10 years ago who made themselves millionaires. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now they are happily married okay. with somebody or whatever. Or some of them are still with me. It doesn't matter. But I never, I was never like getting girls to prostitute or hardcore pimping along that line. I don't even, I mean, I use the word pimp because I had a lot of women who worked for me and they were all beautiful and it sounds cool. But truthfully, <laughs> I, I don't even really see myself in that regard. I think I'm less of a pimp than most corporations. Like well, I, the girls who work, the girls who work for me, 50%, you don't get 50% of the cash register when you work at they, McDonald's. Okay. They can also, people can be pimps and companies can be pimps to a certain level, right? Which doesn't, has anything to do with you being a certain level of a pimp. I think, sure. I, I don't think if your girl is doing something, an activity of her own, of her own will, uh, I, I don't, I feel like taxing her is, that's being a pimp, like quite literally. You're, you are pimping at the wazoo. Yeah, you are pimping. I understand, but, and maybe you've never had the kind of relationships I've had with my women, but any woman I'm with it decides to, by her own free will, submit to me because she sees me as her intellectual superior. She sees me as her life superior. She looks up to me and she respects me. And she sees uh, me as her, she sees me as a uh, <laughs> And for that reason, if she were to come along and say, do OnlyFans, and I said, no, she wouldn't do it. But if she insisted on doing it, I would sit here and say, look, I'm unhappy with you doing this, making a bunch of money off of parts, which are supposed to be intimate only for me. If this is going to happen, I need to have some kind of compensation for my unhappiness. Yes. And she would understand and she would pay me. But this yeah. is not a scenario I need to be involved in. This is just a hypothetical, right? But all the girls who work okay. me, they were not romantically involved. They were girls who decided to make a bunch of money and they came to the best of the business, which was me. So you would be okay with then paying them for their discomfort in some in other areas then? That'd be something that, you, that you're open to? Uh, sure. I mean, it, it, that's that's an interesting way to look at it. I mean, I think that all men do naturally anyway, right? Let's, 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 I understand your point you're making, so let's extrapolate on it. You're saying yeah. that if I, if I do something that they're unhappy with, I should give them money. Well, the yes. point is... I think that all high value men do that naturally anyway. If you take a billionaire on a boat. Naturally, naturally, it's kind of indirect of a term. It's, it naturally is more, more indirect and more like, uh, like intended, right? Since for you, it's, it's, it's transactional and intentional. Then in this example, you have to do the same, uh, framework for that example. Same framework as being agreed upon. So let's say I'm, I don't want to be too gross right now. You're, you're, you're with a girl and, and you want to do something. Do you okay with the, with the thing of saying, okay, well, uh, keep, I mean, I can't want to do that. I'll give, I'll give you, a, I'll, I'll give you 10k. I understand well, what you're saying. I don't think it works exactly that way, but I think that all men, especially high value men, are already in a transactional relationship to some regard, and that's not a bad thing. That's natural human nature. And the point I'm trying to make is, that if you're a truly high status male, truly, if you're a billionaire with a yacht and you have ten girls on that boat, the woman who's in love with you is going to let you fuck nine other women in front of her because she gets to be on a billionaire's yacht. She gets to go to private islands. She gets to mm, not have to work. Yeah. She gets to run around on jet skis and take Instagram pictures. So, to some degree, are you not paying her for her compliance? To some degree, are you not the women rewarding her for her being yeah, in a situation? Yeah, she's not completely happy with that is natural human nature and all high status males do it okay as, as much as i uh, i would agree with you, bro, you that would be, cut him off, bro. that would be, that would be a part of something right part of some sort of fulfillment right um i i would like my partner to be fulfilled in all the ways that i like to be fulfilled in a relationship if a girl's only with me because she's fulfilled in this in this in this money way but she's lacking on a bunch of other shit, what's the point so uh, right what so what does what's his point what does he want? I don't know. So if he, he had a woman, yeah. well, he would let her do anything. Anything of what she in wants. Including what they're saying. So, I don't want to say it's explicit. So, but. Yeah. So XP, uh, what's his name? XQC. If he's saying, if I can, uh, you know, F around, then my woman should be able to F around as well. Or is he saying that his woman can do basically whatever she wants? She wants, yeah. And, and she, there won't be any transactional, uh, you yeah. know, uh, transactions involved. Mm, mm. Whereas he's smart. <laughs> he's got a transaction yeah, involved. Yeah. So he's benefiting mutually. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand his point, what he's trying to say. Uh, let's know. continue. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, what do you think, guys? <laughs> uh, who's right, Tate or XQC? Right. So let's 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 swip, let's swap the hypothetical. Let's say you're in love with a woman. She comes to you and she decides she wants to do OnlyFans. What do you say? Oh, here we go. Okay, so I've had a lot of things about OnlyFans before. A lot, bro. Answer the question. I, I <laughs> just, just because. Well done, well done, Aiden. Aiden, I don't Aiden. Know, it's too much. Excuse Even me. Aiden can't take it. Yeah, Excuse me, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Go on, Aiden. <laughs> you I think it's kind of, it's just kind of, kind of annoying. I, w I wouldn't go into it knowing, she, knowing she's doing it. 
Right? So right? you would. So if your girl came to you and said, "No, your girl's not already on OnlyFans. You're with a girl, yeah. and she's yeah. seen OnlyFans online. She decides she wants to start. She mm -hmm. comes to you and says, I want to become an OnlyFans.' Well. You're gonna say, "Yeah, go for it. Don't give me a penny. Go for it. Get rich. Show your titties." That's that's gonna be your answer. Uh, no, I just say, I just, the, 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 I just, this is kind of annoying. It's an annoying thing. I, I don't, I don't fully agree with it, right? What? So uh, it'd be kind of cold. It's, it's cold. Huh? I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Well, and then that's, what? that's the point. So I think it's, and then it's what? I don't, you're, you're, and I understand go ahead and do it, it's yeah. really interesting what Train said earlier about oh, internet gosh. language, because when you make a point, you have to be very, very careful with what you say. It's almost like politicians speak, but you're He's saying fine, it's annoying. No. I wouldn't like it. Today. Well, I'd say you're not allowed. That's what I'd say. I'd say you're not allowed to be on OnlyFans if you're my girl. Okay. If you okay. are here, please. Okay, not nah, yeah, right. yeah. The, the point I'm trying to make is that is that you know, I don't like it, and if it has to to a point, yeah, well, yeah, I, get, I guess it would break up. Answer but the question, not, man. Like the, the um, I don't know if that's the main point though. What is that? What, uh, what does that prove? I think it's just it's just it's just kind of, it's just lame. It's point. generally lame. Yeah. See, you can't answer the it. point I'm making here it? is that it's a situation that most men don't want to find themselves in. They're completely in love with the. Sh the only answer is Tate's answer. That's it. That's the only conclusion he comes to. Yeah. If he allows, if he says yes, mm. he goes to the woman, I don't like it, but you can do it. Mm. Yeah. And she'll do it. She'll make so much money. She'll leave him. Mm. You know what I mean? She goes, yeah. Now I'm independent. I got the money. Yeah. I'm making it. He, He's more of a misogynist than Tate. Yeah. At least Tate letting a woman do it. Yeah. 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 There's either two choices, right? Mm. Tate's way. Yeah. Or you say no. And if you don't listen, you leave him. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, why why didn't he say it? If yeah. you want to do OnlyFans, I want I would I, I be your boyfriend. I think he did say yeah, I'll leave her, but I don't know. He needs to. He's, he's, no, he's, he never said that. He said uh, I, I don't like it. Uh, I wouldn't like it. All right, okay. I, I wouldn't like it. He's just beating around the bush. Yeah. Answer it, man. Chick and she decides to do OnlyFans. We're in a hypothetical situation. You, saying I'd break up with the chick is a boring answer. So assuming See, you have to stay up, with yeah. the chick, that's the parameters of the question to make the question interesting to answer. My answer is that I need to be paid for her to be doing OnlyFans. That's the answer in the hypothetical situation. <laughs> Your answer in the hypothetical situation is it's kind okay. of annoying. No, I don't know. Right. I don't know. There are, there are parameters for this. There's a bunch of parameters around that. All right, go on. Tell me what this guy is so like, uh, I hope he's not doing it because of lack of fulfillment in certain ways in our relationship because that's a fucking problem. This guy is searching for Georgina. <laughs> <laughs> you find the IG, uh, you know? Yo, where the fuck is the Georgina, man? Take you probably chatting to her already. <laughs> so on something out. <laughs> oh, shit. I, don't want, I, don't, I, I, would, I wouldn't want my partner to, to go to places because she's craving a part of something. She isn't getting another relationship. As long as the thing takes away from a relationship, right? And the framework remains the same, then I guess it's kind of chilling. But that's kind of how it comes uh... to OnlyFans because people do... People do it for a lot of reasons and a lot of a lot of other ones. So it's it's gonna go on, Jim. What's on your mind? So he's saying basically, you know, <laughs> as long as it don't take away the relationship between him and her, mm. she can do it. She can do it. Do what you want. As long as our relationship is strong, you don't fall in love with someone else. Yeah, mm, I'm nah. chill. He's saying I'm chill with it. Nah, nah, that nah. is the lamest answer I've heard. Mm. Nah, mate. Nah, excuse me. You lost. You lost. Let it me be like women want men like that. The question: How old are you? Mm. Well, Cobra. Twenty-six. Okay, let me blow your mind, young man. How old is it? Twenty-six. Women 26. love. Oh, just little women love men they respect. <laughs> there you let me go. tell you this, and this is natural. This is evolutionary. It's biological. This is why women have certain. They have certain even even basic things like height. Right? They're they're designed to be attracted to it evolutionarily because they respect larger men because they're more likely to be better at fighting. They're better warriors. Women fall in love with men they respect. Mm. Not even men they like that much. It's men they respect. Men they like are their friends. Men they respect are the ones they fuck. Mm. And let me tell you something. If a girl were to come to me and say, okay, I am intent. <laughs> Can I ask something? Is this why girls like mean guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're treating badly, isn't it? Mm. So it's evolutionary. That's amazing. Tate, you're blowing my mind. I know. <laughs> I'm learning something. I'm taking up. XQC, take some notes, mate. I know, mate. The way you're acting, mate, you'll never get a girl. <laughs> the only girl that you're going to get in the metaverse. Yeah, and but if he does, he probably does have a girlfriend or someone. And if he does, she's mm. probably after his fame, I'm gonna probably leave him. Yeah. yeah, on doing OnlyFans, and I would say, I'm uncomfortable with you doing that. I don't want you doing it. She says, Andrew, I love you, but I'm gonna do OnlyFans no matter what. I would have to put together parameters and a framework in which she still respects me as a man or we're over. It's not even about the money. It's about the fact that you are my woman. Mm. I love you. You love me. And you're going to show me enough respect as a man that if you're going to get naked on the internet, you're going to at least reward me in some way. There's not going to be all these men paying you money and you making a bunch of money on the fucking side sitting in my house without me getting shit. Mm. Because that is disrespectful. Mm. And I would not allow her to disrespect me, not just because of my ego, but because of her own 
innate ability to not be attracted to somebody that she doesn't respect. If okay. you were to if you were to come along and play things your way, if a chick were to come to you and say, I want to do OnlyFans, you would say, well, I don't like it. It's kind of annoying, da, 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 and she started doing it. She would fucking leave. The girl is more likely to stay with me taking all her money than she is stay with you keeping all her money. And that may not make sense to you, but one day you will understand. Yes, okay, okay. So I'm going to back you and just say that <laughs> you know, whatever my relationship is lacking, whatever amount of respect that I'm losing, and whatever amount of privacy that I'm losing, you can't put a price on that. You can't revert that with money. Shit, just can't do, can't do it. Can't do it. Come on. I want to feel fulfilled. And what fulfills me is that my daughter is fulfilled. And we're both on that, like, equal mindset right and you can't you can't exchange that with money in a transaction women way. don't want you that can't fuck, doesn't matter the amount That's doesn't, doesn't matter, matter. Uh, doesn't it doesn't understand. make you fulfilled so if if, if the partner can make, man, can make up for it, know women. whatever whatever they're doing that they're lacking and they're gonna like reverting it somehow so i guess we can find some sort of compromise right but it wouldn't be about money or be transactional yeah. money wise it just wouldn't brother you just said Life it's not about money my mm. friend and to sit here and pretend that because things are transactional means there's no emotions involved isn't true. Life is transactional. If I'm completely head over heels in love with a woman and I love her with all my heart and I'm ready to take a bullet for her, it's still a transactional relationship. She still provides things and I still provide things that satisfy both of us. You do not sit here and stream for free. Life is transactional. Mm -hmm. So to sit here and pretend that things shouldn't be transactional is asinine. That's not the way the world okay. works. Every single sure. thing in the world is <laughs> transactional. Even if I give money to charity, even if Train gives this... A lady who's massaging me a hundred thousand he's doing that one for clout two because he gets to feel good about himself he isn't it's not pure charity he gets to win too Actually, win. Yes. wait a second wait a second oh, wait a second wait 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 <laughs> It's not for quiet. If you look me up, I'm actually hated and everything's justified that I do. But it is, Who is this to feel guy? good. I get a high from it. The same high yeah. I get from gambling, I get from giving. Wow. My dick gets hard. So that's transactional, but it is not for clout. I don't don't fuck about it. Just Eden. trust me. Do a little research. It is not the clout part, but it is the high part from feeling good. Continue. Hey. Bro, it's the same yep. with me. I, there's a there, there's Romania has an orphanage problem. A lot of orphans. Every single Christmas, I go down to the orphanage with the Rolls Royce, give a hundred grand, whatever, whatever, whatever. Am I the fucking nicest man in the world? Well, yeah, but also I feel good. <laughs> I feel good for doing it, right? It's yeah. so like, yeah. Come on, excuse me. You shouldn't be transactional. Oh, right. like, 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 you must okay. do the world. He's so angry. The world is so hateful. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're remove this guy from the screen. I'm okay, man. I know what you did. What the hell you got him on the screen for? Nature of how we use transactional. As a term, you're you're just saying, oh, it's all a transaction. Yeah, of course. Then everything in life, if it goes one way, it comes back to another way. That's transactional. So that's everything, what he's trying to say. Is, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but that's not how we use the word transactional. That was more uh, of a see. He's not an, an, an indirect, it's more of a direct yeah. thing. I'm doing what this. Geek. That's or what internet that. does to you, man. What a geek, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, what how, a that's how we normally use transactional. The way, you, the way you're saying is just. Oh, just an you're exchange making yourself of, look like a fool, like QC. Just because I'm you can blabber this, a few words, it doesn't make you know what I mean. Reward, people are right? going to be jumping on you. I'm worried about him. <laughs> See, I, need, I need to reach out to him. Uh, it's definitely, what he is them guys, isn't it? Them just playing games. This mm. is where he's. Yeah, yeah, socially yeah. he can't interact. Secluded in his basement, just he can't. You he know, can't hold a conversation. Yeah. And the, he's one of those, you know, like them um, like twelve year old kids who don't get their way and just start yeah. screaming. And yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm seeing. Eh? And he's 26. I wouldn't be surprised if his mum called him up saying, "You general, what the fuck you want, mama? I'm on the I'm live streaming. Leave the f alone. I know. Your, Probably your, does. Your, your your dinner's made. Leave my dinner on the table. I don't think he respects his mum, mate. Uh, none of these streamers do, man so indulged in their in the computer games and everything or whoever they're talking to is unbelievable mm. that's kind of that that that's that that is obtuse fine let me change the way i ask you the question right <laughs> because it's like, yeah. what, oh, yeah. what i'm actually and once again you're only 26 you are smart i can see you're smart but you're 26. So if, if I were if I were in your position and I had disagreed with everything that Andrew Tate had said and Andrew Tate was going to come on a stream, first I'd have a list of everything he said I disagree with. You don't yeah, even have yeah, a list. Yeah. So you haven't been very professional about your approach to this. You mm -hmm. don't even know most of the things I've said. You're just saying this about, it's all very general. So in future, no, no, please... Say, say that again. Sorry about that. I, I was fucking distracted <laughs> by um, bullshit. Fine. And fine. In, fu what? in future, make a list of all my points you disagree with so we can we can be more systematic in our approach. Oh, but, and, agreed. The problem is that you're a gish galloper. You're a professional at it. You're really good at doing it. Gish galloping it. You do it, dang, 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 d
and I cannot present an alternative. That does not make me a fucking physicist. That does not make me an astronaut. That makes me a jackass. Mm. So if you cannot propose a better alternative, then you have no point to make. Mm. And this is the point I'm making with you. The parameters <laughs> of the question are you're in love with a woman who decides to do OnlyFans. You can't break up with her. And I have also added another parameter. You want to retain the respect and the authority in the relationship. You think that taking money in said situation is completely unreasonable and unfair. Fine. What is an alternative which is superior? And if you cannot name one, then it is the best of a bad choice. It may be an un unfortunate situation, but it's the best move in a bad chess position, and you must still make the best move. If you have a better move to make, I'm open to hear it. But if I'm in love with a woman, and I'm not going to break up with her, and she comes with me, and she insists on doing OnlyFans, my answer to retain my control and my respect in my relationship is for uh -huh. her to Brilliant. pay me. Yeah. That is my answer. If you're if not you going to break up, that is the My way. ears are open. Okay, like, like, I, like I said, yeah, like I said... Well. Whenever somebody does there's only fans, it's because of, because there's the what what <laughs> does that it. come from? It. Right? it can be a lot of things of why they would do it. Only money or some sort of fulfillment or whatever, right? Some sort of fulfillment. He's laughing at him because right? he doesn't understand. If they're doing it because they're, they're lacking something in the relationship, they're taking something away from the relationship. Oh, shut yeah, up, that's a fucking yeah, problem. Man. Honestly, I'm I fed up. Break up. And guys, I'm break fed up, up with it. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be fulfilled in something and spend my entire life with somebody and be committed. There's no, there's no price you're gonna pay me to be deluded that we're at the same level of commitment. Break up. End of story. No alternative. One alternative. Break up. If you're that uncomfortable, I will not put a dollar amount on that. I will fucking break up and move on. And the fact that you can put a price on your lack of commitment or whatever you think you're like, because if they make it only fans, it's not about the money. It's the principle, chat. Right? Oh yeah. Come yeah. 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 on, it's times. Hey, then tell him. I know. Tell him in Twitch language. Like, no, you just we can't. <laughs> No only fans. I don't understand the what is. What are you saying? There's no breakup in this scenario. No breakup. What is the alternative of uh, the transaction? No, I said, I said and I said breakup. That's what I'm You're fucking oh, breakup. Oh, also, oh, oh, he's also, as he's saying, it's it's not about the money. It's the, it's the principle behind it. His understand? hypothetical is no, like in a situation where you guys aren't breaking up. Yeah, yeah. And it's just you need some. What what are you gonna do instead? I I have, I have hundreds of millions. I said of broke up. Hey, cool. No, you can't. Okay, well, the point is, you just put a parameter, man. Point is, I have hundreds of millions of dollars, and if my girlfriend did OnlyFans and made two dollars, she would pay me my dollar, and that's because it's principle. It's, it's not principle. Money. Yeah. Okay. Bro. Yeah. What? What? If he's gonna break up, if he's gonna break up with that girl because she wants to do OnlyFans, mm. yeah, and he goes, "That's the only solution." Mm. Then the next girl that's gonna come. She, she maybe wants to do OnlyFans mm. and he's going to break up with her. And then the next girl that he finds, she probably wants to do OnlyFans. Because they sat in the room, he's probably fucking streaming mm. 24 hours a day. She's there watching him. <laughs> she thought, if he's streaming, mm. I might as well stream. And what can I do? I'll use my body. I'll jump on OnlyFans. Yeah, that's it. Same thing, mate. You're yeah. streaming, she's streaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, the question is, you, like, you... If you're really in love, like yeah. he's going to be in love with it, you, you wouldn't want to break up anyway. Mm. So the question now, saying you, you can't break up. Yeah. So, so he's given parameters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the best solution? Mm. So Tate has given that solution, mm. right? If you can't get come up with a better solution than what I've just said, mm -hmm. then you got you haven't got a point to make. Yeah, yeah. So this is, but still he's saying break up, break up, and that's why he cannot understand. Aiden's understood that. Train whoever he is, he's just understood that. He's trying to explain it. To I him. think maybe he does understand a little bit. I think he's playing. But he, just, he just doesn't want to agree. Yeah, with because uh, he knows his trapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fair enough. But you can't, in my opinion, that the the, the nature of the behavior of putting a. Dog That's why when you're trapped, yeah, and it's like uh, 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 yeah. Uh, all the time. Dollar amounts because of some lack of what it's the fuck about the is fucking money. It's, not it's, about the it's fucking an money, alarming. Man. Logical mm -hmm. conclusion. It's just bad. What else about me do you find alarming? <laughs> well, I'm just saying it's alarming. That's it. Okay. What else about my views or things you've heard me say or my attitudes or my life approach? Oh, my think? girl can't go out. That's fucking alarming as shit. What? My girl can't go out? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's discuss this. <laughs> I, I, all right, cool. I take I take my girlfriends out all the time, right? Cool. But if Yo, my girl were to say I want to go out with seven other girls to the club, in my personal experience, I love his reaction. I'd be to do that because Yo. I've been the man. Yo, these guys have not experienced anything what Tate is talking about. Oh, yeah. These guys yeah. cannot fathom that all the information that Tate is talking about. Oh, girlfriends. It's like, what? Girlfriends? Oh, oh, shit. My God. Uh, the masseuse came on. Ah, you got a masseuse. Uh, Georgina came on. Ah.
be crazy. And in the club that those seven girls turn up to and end up on his table, and I know what happens. I've lived a very, very long life. I know how that ends. Now, okay. now I, I think that, and I've discussed this already before. I think I discussed this yesterday with Dave Portnoy, which he got upset about. I, dis I discussed that if I'm going to be in a relationship and I'm going to have responsibility over a woman, which I want to have because it's my masculine imperative, I should also have a degree of authority that comes with that responsibility. If I'm responsible for her safety, for example, but she refuses to obey me when I say don't walk home in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. how can I truly be responsible? Responsibility and authority are linked. I'm responsible for her because I'm her man and I take the best care of her. I might take, I might know things she doesn't know. She might be 19 years old and think going to the club's all fine. I'm 35. I've been around. I've seen what happens in clubs. No, you don't need to go there. I'm responsible for you. I take care of you. And by extension, I have a 35 years old. I'm dating a 19 year old. How old are you, Jimmy? I'm about 22. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit my 30s, mate. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> authority to say to you you're not going to that nightclub that doesn't make me crazy doesn't make me insecure doesn't make me weak she can always say i'm going to go anyway and that's fine and then we can break up but in my scenario any woman i'm serious about is going to obey me and i'm not going to come along with some crazy maybe people will call it crazy i'm not gonna make her do anything wrong she ain't gonna take drugs she's gonna go to the gym she's gonna eat right she's gonna be learning shit and she ain't gonna be in the club sniffing and drinking now mm -hmm. that makes me a bad person then so be it, no problem. But I get plenty of girls who, who sign up to that all day long without problems. Oh, and yeah. any man who sits there and goes, I'm not insecure, I'll send my girl to the club. Send okay. her to my send her to my table, G. Send her to my table, no <laughs> problem. <laughs> okay. Yo. We'll talk about insecurity when she's sucking dick. Okay, Yo. then then according Yo. to your mindset and how you see things then, and your, your high levels of security apparently. XQC right? has just if lost girl his girl. Was mm. to go to the club, Right? And Which girl is now gonna want to date XQC? No one. Probably no a, girl. Probably a dork. Yeah. Or a geek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or probably a Tate hater. Yeah. But no, <laughs> no other girl. No one that looks like Georgina that they seen earlier. No chance. Is gonna be dating uh, XQC unless he's gonna throw millions at him. Yeah. XQC, man. If you have one, then it can be have a look at her. Yeah. Yeah. And I was at the club. You're scared. I will bring your girl home. I don't that live in fear. It's not about scared because I don't live in fear. I'm well, I mean, that, that's fear. No, it's not fear. No, what, okay, is, fear okay, what is the outcome that you do not want of a, her going to the club? I'll explain. I'm a terrorist. Guys, guys, coming, guys coming over and bringing her home. You, mm. by fear, you are scared of her going home with another guy. That is a move that is literally fueled by fear. No woman would dare to do that. That's an interesting viewpoint. And I know you think that that's relevant. And I know you think you've made a good point, but I'm about to dissect it and show you. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm a territorial individual. And I think that being a man, one of the best things about being a man is being territorial, being able to say that is mine. That's the whole point of it. Oh, yeah. So let's let's use an analogy. And please, when I make this analogy, I don't want you to try and get caught up in the analogy because I'm about to compare a woman to a car. Do not say <laughs> you're comparing women to cars. That's low. Yeah, get caught up. Yeah, yeah, get caught up. If yeah, I go out, needs to make that clear, right? Or let's say I have a Lamborghini. I have many cars, but let's say I take my Lamborghini. Would I park it in a high crime it it. area? Even if the locks are fantastic, even if my woman is loyal and completely and utterly in love with me, and I know there's zero percent chance any man could ever take her home because she's with the top G. Which exactly. Is the case. Uh, yeah. Even if I know the locks on my car, it has bulletproof glass, it's locked, you can't break into it. Will I park my no. Lambo in an Hell area no. where people are going to try and steal it? That's a no, good I analogy, won't, because bro. that is irresponsible. Analogy. So the fact is, I don't care if men try and come up to my chick, because no one can steal my chick, because I am me. The fact is, it's irresponsible for me to put her in a scenario where people were attempted. Mm -hmm. If I walk out to the car park and someone's trying to break into my car, even if the locks to my car are secure, I will still decimate said individual for attempting to steal my property. That's what it's about. It's about territorialism. Oh, it's yeah. not about well, being fearful the girl's going to run yeah. off to someone else. There's nowhere to go but from me but down. It's not about okay. that. Fair it's enough. about the fact that it's irresponsible for me to put her in that scenario. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, the argument The argument would be good. Uh, <laughs> if, if, if I were you, I'm going to make that argument. I could, I could rationalize the argument you just did. If most of the girls that I dated or I was with had the IQ of somebody who cannot move, think, or do anything, and it just stuck on the side of the fucking curb. <laughs> so yeah, I guess maybe you would have this experience. <laughs> if Moses did, were zero IQ, brain frozen. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense in the real world because the, you don't park your fucking girl on the curb at the club. They move, they talk, they do oh, shit. Uh, it's not a fucking. It's, it's not. It's not. He got no control over that girl. Then make doing, doing shit, it shows right? he's not in the real I world. Why is he talking about real world? And mm -hmm. the, the, the 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 loss of potent the potential that that one guy out of a million will do some crazy shit and and is going to forcibly bring her home. 
right? Is far, that smallest is far outweighed by the fun and enjoyment and fulfillment that they get by going to the club in the first place. He's That's been, interesting. But you also have to understand because we are different individuals living very different lives. And I'm not going to sit here and comment on your relationships because I don't understand them because I don't know them. But you have to understand that I am, in, I am at a status of life where any woman who gets with me understands that to be with a man of my caliber, there are certain sacrifices which must be made. You do not get to be with a kickboxing world champion, multi-millionaire, oh, yeah. whose entire life is completely on track and live a life of spoiled princess and then also say to that man, <laughs> I go to... And Masoos is sweating on the back. Hello, I swear, man. <laughs> Tate, you better give her a raise. Uh, I don't man, know, man. I'm sure he does. He's a, yeah, he's a generous yeah. guy. I'm sure he takes Tell care Tell her to of calm down. Take a break, man. Take she's a break. Ma she's been massaging the same spot for like... Uh, what We're getting tired watching this. Imagine uh, no. how she's like, it's she brilliant. Had to, she had to take... Can me. we hire her as well? I uh, know, man. We'll have a Masoos on our next <laughs> podcast. Um, <laughs> Baden Mogul, Musty Hair. We'll yeah. sort that out for you guys. No worries, man. <laughs> if you want a Masoos uh, massaging uh, the Baden Moguls on our next podcast... Give us a shout. Give us a shout. Drop a <laughs> comment. Yeah. Or if you want to uh, come on this podcast and uh, give us a massage, uh, women only, <laughs> leave yeah. your comments as well. The club whenever the fuck I want. You might be able to say that to some other men, but you can't say it to me. So, and I want to say something to you that you may not yet understand once again, because you are intelligent, but you're not yet wise because you are young. Women are malleable. And when I say they're malleable, people think that women are these individualistic, unique creatures. And they're, they are to a degree, but they are heavily mal, they're heavily molded by the man they're with. You'll notice if a woman gets with a man and she loves him, she likes the same music he likes. The same Anybody, Anybody's in that regard. Everybody's malleable in that regard with the people that they're with, people that are around them. Well, he's or the fucking like result of what's around them. Nah, that's that's just <laughs> correct. So what's malleable? So a woman which may say to you, I'm a unique, special snowflake. I do whatever the fuck I want. If she was in my presence, she wouldn't say that. Mm. Now, because women are a reflection of their man. It's not hard to get a woman who sits there and says, you know what? I don't go to the club without my man because I adore my man. If the man is worthy of such adoration. <laughs> if the woman's sitting there going, well, I'm with him, but it, no, he doesn't tell me you, what you to do. That That's idea. the man's problem. Oh, it's nothing to do with the woman. <laughs> Females are all the same. It's all about the man they're with. I have no trouble and no arguments in my life telling women they don't go to the club by themselves. Zero. It's not a conversation that even ever appears ever because I... If you can't tell your woman mm. not to do this or to do this, then what's, what is that relationship? I don't understand mm. it. And again, I'm, I don't live in that world, so I don't understand these kind of so-called relationship. Mm. Mm. No, no. Do what you want. Yeah, yeah. Nah, no chance, man. I would never allow, allow uh, my woman to do that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Women's, uh, you know, like, we're, we're married men. Mm. You know what I mean? we got our queens at home. And uh, we treat them with respect, and they they treat us with respect. Yeah. If they want to go somewhere, innit? they they tell us. Yeah. If it's an if it's a place inappropriate, like the clubs or anything like that, we will never allow, allow yeah. our women to go to the clubs. And it's not it's not about uh, uh, insecurity. It's no, not, it's not, 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 it's, it's not, not about that. Innit? We protect and guard our women. Our women are only for us. Yeah, yeah? It, sh it should not be for other, you know. Dirty, filthy yeah, eyes. There's so be, uh, many. There's so on. many pervs out there. You yeah. guys are not you guys, mm. but there's so many guys who are pervs out there, mm. right? And this is another issue I have with, um, you know, especially I'm talking about the Muslim community. Mm. Yeah, they're showing their sisters and uh, yeah, yeah, daughters and all that dancing. Yeah, mm. it shows they're having fun and all that. But there's pervs out there, man. Yeah, yeah. There's dirty people out there that just you know do slow slow motion the video and you know all the body bits yeah, you know yeah. what i mean so that's why islam is beautiful and that's why we come back and say look why do we have hijab and why do we uh, tell our women to cover it's a mm. reason for it it's same for men men need to be modest as well we need to be modest in our clothing as yeah. well so it applies to us but it's mainly like it's a lot more for the women because mm. men's are a lot more of the perv of course. so we cover them it's like covering a diamond there are diamonds we cover yeah. them Take care of them, and we only see that beauty at yeah. home. And me. So uh, for you to sit here and describe scenarios, that's fine. And you're saying that my women are low IQ. I would counter that by saying if I was with the same women you were with, they behave better for me than they would for you. And that is because of my status and my wisdom and my individuality that you've bro, yet... You treat and pay for them like they're Lambos that are part of the curve. Oh, my oh God. They're going to be like this if you if want to go down that <laughs> argument. So, yeah. I, I fell into I, it. I guess what, what, I have to concede the point. Because you're right. I guess you you dated. So he's conceded the point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's but well, he's still trying to get yeah. a little jab. Frozen up. Lambos parked at the curb. It's not frozen. It's, what the? Well, I mean, that is what you. That is what he's you. He's annoying me now. That is your example. 
You compare Before, the behavior and the bro, potentials said, of, of her being stolen. Oh, no, man. Like, Aiden, 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 well done well. again. We yeah. keep praising you, but Mike Tiden praises back. Yeah, I know. We need to still watch you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys are understanding what Tate is trying to say. I yeah. hope so. I hope so. He, he literally put a disclaimer at the front and yeah. said, do you not take my example? I'm going to use a woman as a Lambo. Yeah, don't yeah. take it. Don't divulge in it too much. Mm. Literally what he done mm. And I, I even predicted that Didn't I yeah. I said he's gonna do it Because mm. that's the way he is Clambo Therefore right. I have to use that analogy When talking about the girls That you are dating and you are saying, right I'm, I, I'm sorry It's not an insult it's like, You made this precedent I have to Who's use it right? Yeah I will take right. any woman I could date okay, so Any woman right. ever, I don't know who your girlfriends are I don't have a clue but Any woman you've ever okay. dated If I was with her She wouldn't be going to the club without me That's that's the bottom line That's because who who I am the woman, the woman's paradigm, the idea that the female is going to come along and demand to only go club with the girls, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is heavily dependent on the man she okay. is with. So what makes you above her then? The money, so, the status, the top G? What is, what is the, the label or the prerequisite that makes you above her? It's not about being above. It's about her. Yes, it is. It's about her respecting me. Yeah. Therefore, therefore, you can't go to the club either. You don't go to the club then. That's bullshit. I go to a club whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> okay, then, then we'll, make, we'll make sure you go to the club. If you can't go to the club, if you're equal. I am responsible for her. And I have why, authority. Why, why are you responsible? What, what makes you responsible? I'm responsible for her because I am more competent as an individual. Now, before... How, we, how do you know that? Uh, all the girls, all the girls. There's no girl that, out there that, that, that could be above you. You're above everybody else. Well, let's... let's Because I know you're going to try and go down the sexist argument. Let's reverse um, it. Well, I mean, you you made it... Okay, listen. <laughs> I, I, you have driven this conversation since the beginning. I gave you the... Fr the not the I gave you the, the initial roots argument or point, and you are driving yourself there. Cool. Uh, and so you, you, are, you, are, you are drawing the circle around it. I didn't do shit. All right. I cool. said, what makes you above her? And you, you're not giving me an answer. It's about... It's not about being above. It's about having responsibility for. So why do you share responsibility? Okay, because you can't share responsibility because nothing in life is 50 50. There's always, even if it's 49 percent 51%. Okay. Then the why you? Me, because I'm me. This is the exact point. <laughs> now let's reverse it, which I've been trying to do for the last 30 seconds. There are women out there who are with men, and that man needs her to tell him, stop playing video games, stop smoking weed, go to the gym, get your diet in order. Why don't you ever work? Why ain't you got any money? That uh, There are millions of relationships out there. In said scenario, she has responsibility because she's his mother and she tells him what to do, mm -hmm. and she has authority. She can tell him not to do shit because she's the fucking boss. That is happened. It's not about it's not about a sex thing. It's about okay. human dynamics and every okay. relationship. Someone's in charge, and I'm in charge of my relationships, and I find it irresponsible of me to put her in a scenario where something could happen to her. But you, Whether, carry on. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt you. I, I just think what, what a good point was. Well, I can uh, interject. Since you're, since you're making that point, right? The problem with these statements is that you say girls. You always say girls or, girl, or my or my girls, right? Intending that, that it's all of them. What what about some girl, right? Who, right now, hypothetically, is a is a multi trillionaire, right? And is in your kitchen right now, and she comes away right now. Eh, uh, the door opens behind you. We see a little glimpse of light right behind you right now. And he says, hey, Tate, get the fuck off the computer. Drinking this bullshit with this stupid cigar. Talking to that <laughs> fucking dog on your computer. Yeah, right? no, no. That, that, that could happen, right? According no. to you. No, not to happen. him. Not? not to him. Mm. Not in his happen. life. No, I'll, tell why not? I'll tell you why. Because okay. you said some girl being a multi-trillionaire. There's plenty of women in the world who may have a lot of money. Yeah. But, we, if, but you have to understand that when you look at life, you have to look at life in the different paradigms. There's many different lenses you look at life through. And when you look at life from a societal perspective, yes, women are equal to men. They should be fine. But when you look at women from an animalistic perspective, because we are basically animals, they are not equal to us physically. When it comes to something like personal safety, which a club involves a lot of, they can get spiked. A man can try on with them and lose his temper. They can get attacked. The, whatever can happen. When it comes to physical protection, that is a man's realm. You could be a UFC world champion, female, whatever, whatever. I'm too big and I'm too strong. I, I'll, I'll still beat them. So there's no female alive who's going to come into a room and tell me when it comes to things like personal protection, responsibility for her own personal safety, okay. et cetera, trump my views. That's not okay. true. I'm Same. a man. I have certain domains in which I rule. Okay. Then in this line of argument with the things that you just said, I'm, not going, I'm trying to go one by one. So I have to be selective about how I'm doing this. Okay. What you're saying, since you brought up the fact that you can get spiked, is that you, Andrew, if you go at the club alone, because the girl is staying at home, she has to stay home, she's boxed in. You go to the club because you're such a fucking warrior, and right. you get spiked heavily in your drink, you drink it, you will right. not go unconscious because you're such a fucking lion, aren't you? 
It's not about that. It's about the fact that if the woman was with me in the club or if the, the woman couldn't protect me, that's not the woman's domain. It's down to me and my team to protect me. Mm -hmm. The female has absolutely no say when it comes to things like personal safety. She has so, no so she can't have a team around her. She can't. A, a team of chicks? <laughs> that's what it is. Did I say chicks? Did I say chicks? Oh, a team of dudes. Cool. You want to send your girl to the club with a bunch of dudes? Cool. No prerogative. <laughs> Enjoy. Wait, Hope you have a uh, long relationship. Um, every whole. <laughs> well, I, mean, okay, well, I mean, my relationship will be long and fulfilling. I can't. I can't say the same to when you when you treat people like this. I mean, I mean like <laughs> saying that you don't go to the club without me. We go together. I know. Oh, what are you doing so wrong? Man in the I world. know, man. Oh no! Look, man. At the end of the day, that's his life. Yeah, he yeah. can do what he does. And the women obey. He said they obey because they accept his conditions. It's a condition, and it? it's but mm. ten conditions. You women do it more than us. Yeah, yeah. I've been looking for a man. You have a hundred uh, conditions that exactly. need to be met. So it's yeah. harder for us mm. to get a woman like you, right? We don't want women like that anyway. But what I'm saying is that's his life. His life is set up in a certain way, and he's got certain conditions that need to be met. A criteria from, mm -hmm. from uh, certain women. There are plenty of women who will obey that. Yeah. And he's, he's, he, he can prove that It's yeah. not an issue And no woman Is going to come no, no matter if she's A multi-trillionaire Like XQC said Will come and tell him To get off the computer Because that's That's his view uh, Because they respect him Yeah yeah so, They respect him They will never say that Yeah They will never say He's doing what he's doing He's mm. providing He's protecting He's mm. providing everything So why would a woman do that? Yeah. Only women do that If they don't respect you Yeah exactly It's like our women We provide and we protect them That's yeah. it so why would they want to, uh, you know, look for someone else? They mm. won't. But it's just two different parallel universes between mm. them two. So they, can will, never get they will never get along. I think he, I think he's a woman in a man's uh, clothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just them um, that new generation. He's twenty six, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, yeah, he's yeah. been taught a certain way. But his generation is the the future is finished. Just finished, man. You know, gone. there is no uh, men anymore. There is no men. Yeah. It's like we're walking on, uh, we were driving around, weren't we, today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, a certain male yeah. acting like a female, mm. you know what I mean. And we're just having a discussion. If a World War Three, which is going to happen anyway, it's going to start tomorrow. Yeah. Is he going to protect us, that guy? No. Is he no, going to no. fight? He's me. <laughs> Run away That's no, what I mean, he's gonna do Men yeah. like us Baited moguls bro yeah. We're gonna like, be on the bloody ah, Front sick. line Come on mm. We're gonna be protecting our women mate yeah. But men like that No That's it Chuck them to the enemies Take them We don't want them Oh don't take your girl to the VIP table with you Oh don't do that Andrew You misogynist Send her out there with all those other dudes I'll tell you what bro 87 professional fights, four time kickboxing world champion. How about this? I'll protect your chicks. Send her to the club with me. <laughs> bro, bro, you can be the, the, the biggest lion out there. You can be the most Chad like, bald guy out there, okay? If your drink gets spiked, <sighs> you're, you're dropping. So, not, what, what's your the point, point I'm making? I'm the point I'm ma Who's going to spike his drink? Yeah. Unless he, some gay guy loves it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but even, you know, even if someone does spike his drink, yeah? What is excuse is he trying to say that your woman's there to protect you? No chance. But the the point is flawed. Yeah. He's saying, look, it doesn't matter who's drink your spike, we're all going to get flawed. Obviously, mm. the chemicals all work on us. What he's saying is, I've got a team that takes care of me. So mm. he's going to have a few months there, a few months there yeah, looking yeah. out. Anyone make a silly move, his man's are onto it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, That's what he's trying to say. Like, like a chick any, and a team yeah. of chick, mm. not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like any top G goes out and they'll have their bodyguards or they'll have their people on the court watching, keeping an eye on them. If anything happens, they'll pounce. Mm. It's about it's about the respect that she will have for me for protecting her and, and my responsibility over her and the authority that comes with it. It'll be about the fact that I don't want my woman in the club without me. I think it's disrespectful and I don't think that any woman who truly loves a man even wants to do that. Women, women test boundaries as they should. And I'm about to make yeah. another comparison. I'm about to make another comparison. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Use my analogies against me. You said well, I, I, well, I, 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 I have not. I have no other uh, other material. You said. <laughs> you said attack. You said. You said approach me by going one to one and going with specifics. What else is there than the things that you're feeding me that I can use? Am I supposed to speak in fucking in hieroglyphs or some, some some shit? 
cool. what do you want to do? I swear. I have, okay, completely. So I compared women to cars. Slurs, so that makes me a bad man. Really I'm about to compare women to children. Oh no, I'm really bad man. So this is, let's do the same thing, right? So when, a, when, a, when you have a child, let's say you have a six or seven year old kid, they push the boundaries. They try and see what they can get away with until eventually you come and say, no, you're not allowed to do that anymore. If you yes. leave a child completely unchecked, they're going to do a bunch of crazy shit, right? There has to be a point they come up against the wall where the parents say, no, I'm older than you. I'm more responsible than you. I'm wiser than you. I know things you don't know. Do not stick your fingers in the plug socket. That's part of being an adult. It's part of being a parent. It's okay. the same thing as being a man for a woman. If you're, with a, if you're a man with a woman, you're likely older, a lot older, so you're wiser by default. You're probably, if you're a successful man, more successful than her. You've seen a lot of things. You've probably seen more violence than she has, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're very, very qualified to come why, along and say- Why do you intend that you're probably more successful than she is? Because you're, because you're likely older. I mean, I don't know. There's not many 18-year-old girls who are going to be more successful than a 35-year-old man. Maybe. But why, even, but, 18. why are you dating somebody a little younger? <laughs> 18, <laughs> Okay, 25-year-old. doesn't matter. Men date, men date younger women on average because young women like older men on average. That's and they true. like that because that they respect true. older men because they respect the authority. Yeah, I, that's I don't think any of the things yeah. I'm saying here are, are largely contested. I think everyone agrees that women like. Look, I mean, not 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 only are they largely contested, they they are they are mostly contested. I think I think most people disagree with you on this. I mean, uh, most rational beings, except for the no, people that are really you get from tracks unhinged. The, the problem that you think, you think is that you're, you're saying that men, it's impossible for them to be pushed into the right directions or help like a children from women. They, the, the girls can't come in and say, stop doing this, hey, stop doing stop doing that. They, they, they can't do that to you or any other guys because they're women. Which, what the fuck is that? That's just, that's just, that's just so illogical. Some, some men need women to guide them. That's fine. I'm not one of those men. Also, oh, now some. Earlier it was all, now it's some. We're going down. Oh, my days. We're trying to What's up? It was all. I was. I gave a scenario in which many men are mothered by their girlfriends. I said, in said scenario, the woman has authority and responsibility, and she can prevent him from going to the club. And then I also said, in every single relationship, somebody has responsibility and authority. Nothing is fifty-fifty. And then I also said, for the same reason, I would not allow someone to break into my car, no matter how good the locks are. I will not put my woman in a scenario where people are going to try and take her from me because I find it disrespectful, and she shouldn't want to be there. That's what I said. That's all the things I said. Now, if you have a relationship in which you want your girl to go out to the club as much as she wants, that's your prerogative. I'm not coming here telling you not to do it. I will tell you it's going to end badly for you. Mm. You may disagree with me, but it will. If you keep letting your girl to go to the club, it's going to end badly, not just because she's going to get stolen, but because she's not going to respect you as a man. Mm. She's going to say, this man lets me go out and get drunk with other men every fucking night. What kind of dude do I have? That mm. is your definition of what the respect that she owes you is, <laughs> not the definition of what the, the relationships overall uh, that's how that transaction goes. Like, I, I, I think it, this is. I mean, you're, you're being obtuse. The problem with this is that you're being obtuse about it, right? Relationship. You have to be. Why, okay. Why are you in a relationship in the first place? Why? Why are you with a girl, right? Because you want to. Because you you want to be fulfilled. You want to have a relationship, and you want to feel like you're 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 in something, right? You're committed. Why? Why do you date? Tell, tell us. Why do you date? Absolutely, for the same reason everybody dates. For, for okay. For, for so a lot of sure. a, a, a lot of points, like a polygon. A lot of things make you feel polygon. like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. A uh, it makes a nice is. polygon, right? Correct. Right. So in my opinion, this is how this is what the foundation of what a relationship is. For me to be fully fulfilled, I want the person I'm with, my partner, to that one of pre pre prerequisite is that they're fulfilled in all these ways. The things to match for me to match. It's almost like a. Uh, if she's fulfilled, I'm fulfilled, and we are together like that, right? Yeah. And what you're saying, what you're saying is that what fulfills well, what's the person, point, mate? they have to sacrifice and lose out on some of these points for you to feel fulfilled. How does it make any sense whatsoever? It, it, oh that is completely How many and times? utterly illogical because they didn't have to make compromises and sacrifices that overall will lack fulfillment and will make you, you feel less fulfilled and he what does he think a relationship is a relationship is for is compromise you got mm. compromise somehow isn't it? yeah yeah for his level takes level his compromise is up mm. for the woman you need to compromise this yeah for your level you probably compromise everything <laughs> <laughs> literally everything you know what yeah. i mean i understand look normal people with normal amount of money and stuff yeah. the relationships could be a bit more different to mm -hmm. what takes level but even like i said isn't it like like our women like our relationships mm. it's pretty similar to what Tate's saying yeah yeah Do you know what I mean the man has the authority mm. it's like someone uh, has to have the authority yeah, yeah. Uh, let's say let's put a scenario together uh, if if you met someone in the club yeah and then you fell in love you decided to get married and then you th uh, you told her like oh, once once we're married isn't it there's, mm. no, there's a no go go to the club anymore yeah. and these are the boundaries I'm setting if you want to get married to me Mm. Yeah, 
So it's only me. We only travel together. Mm. We won't go to the clubs. We'll go on holiday destinations, etc. But clubs, uh, even drinking, all sorts will be stopped. Mm. If the woman agrees, she agrees to it. And then she, those are the boundaries set. Mm. Then she can't argue later on that I want to go to the club. And if the, if she wants to go, then, then you're going to end up with arguing, mm. uh, ending up uh, breaking up or even in a divorce. Mm. So th- there's certain boundaries. Tate's got his boundaries. And this this fool doesn't understand. Now he's he's going to compromise that. He goes, uh, all right, we set these uh, boundaries at the start of the marriage, but I'm going to compromise that and I'll allow you to go to the club because uh, I love you. XQC, no, man, you don't make like sense. Like I said, you won't last long in a mm. relationship. Because uh, in- that, that's why that's why relationships are broken. That's why divorce uh, uh, was it divorce is so high at the moment. Mm. The number of people getting divorced because you you you're um, you're not sticking to the boundaries. Mm. Yeah, even when you get married, you, you know that shit. Whatever you say, in it, um, the vows, the vows. Yeah, you don't even stick to them. No, the vows yeah. are just there. Mm. No, no one sticks to that vows. Mm. But it's again, it's society, the role of man and woman. Yeah. Yeah, that's all been blurred now. The feminism uh, movement that's coming, that's destroying yeah. what a woman uh, is. They can't, like we said, they can't even define a woman now. Mm. So everything is just getting blurred and destroyed. And it obviously, it's destroying society and destroying relationships and mm. marriages are finishing. And it's all bullshit. Yeah, of course. Um, but I think um, we'll leave it at that mm. and uh, we'll finish the rest in part three. Uh, what do you guys think? I uh, hope you like the content and uh, but just keep uh, sharing the love, keep liking, keep sharing and keep subscribing. But for now, yep. peace, peace out. out.